Hey guys, Jessica here with the Noble Beast Dog Training. Today we're going to talk about muzzle training. Uh, one of the trickier steps in teaching your dog how to wear and tolerate and hopefully enjoy wearing a muzzle is working on getting them acclimated to those straps. So bringing the straps up around their face and tight behind their head. It's a little bit of a different feeling than a dog just wearing a collar um, because it's got to sit higher up on the head right at the base of the dog's skull. So we're gonna go through troubleshooting that today in this video. So I like to start with um, smearable food whenever I'm introducing the straps because smearable food can get messy. I like to put a towel on my lap, personally. You don't have to do this forever, but just so that I don't get wet dog food all over myself. This is the Baskerville Ultra Basket Muzzle. This is the muzzle that I'm gonna be using with Wicket. Um, and you can use um, the same technique with any uh, basket muzzle style. I'm also going to be using wet dog food for Wicket because she's on a special diet and this is what she eats. But I'm just going to be really generous about smearing this food inside but kind of towards the bottom of the muzzle um, because I really want the dog's nose inside. If you smear it towards the top of the muzzle, then they might just use their tongue to lick inside and they're not actually sticking their nose all the way in. You see that piece of food that just dripped? That's why I'm wearing the towel. So if this was peanut butter, it would probably be, be a little bit easier than the dog food. So once I get some food in there, then I'm going to offer it to the dog. Set this up so that you can see. Wicket. Muzzle. And you can see she's going to start licking that food that's inside the muzzle. So at this point I might count, hold the muzzle here for like the count of 10 and then I'm going to take the muzzle away because I always want the dog wanting more whenever I'm doing muzzle training. At this point, we could sit. If you need to reload, you can. And I'm going to because this wet food is ridiculously messy. And I'm just gonna repeat that same step. Wicket, muzzle. And I'm gonna hold it here and let her lick for about the count of 10. And then I'm going to take it away. I'm going to reload one more time. And then this is when I'm going to start working the straps. So, you know, you take this at your dog's pace. If they're hesitant at all to stick their nose inside the muzzle, then you can keep working that previous step um, for a lot more repetitions or for a lot more days. But the next thing that I'm going to do here, get these chunks out of the towel so they're not falling on my floor. So I'm going to present the muzzle in the same exact way. Wicked. Muzzle. And this time when she starts to lick, I'm just going to take my hand and I'm going to bring that strap up against her face. Just like this. Maybe I'll take it away and then do it again. So you can do that with both straps either side. See how I'm just bringing it up next to her face? Taking it away, bringing it up next to her face again. I don't know if you noticed, but when I did it with the longer strap the first time, she stopped looking for a second. So I probably want to keep doing just this step until the dog seems like they're really comfortable with the act of me, you know, sort of reaching behind their head. Uh, you might just do this step now for a few days. Again, you're going to listen to your dog and just work at the step that they are comfortable and ready for. Okay, we're going to reload again. Get it nice and disgusting inside this muzzle. Again, you probably could be using an easier food like a pate or some peanut butter, too. 
or some canned squeezed cheese. Like it has to eat a special diet, so this is what we're working with. Muzzle. So she's got her nose in that muzzle, and I'm just going to work on bringing this strap up. After you've done that step for a couple of days, watch what I'm going to do now. Yeah. Almost fell out of the muzzle. Just looking for him on the ground. Reload. <laughs> Wicked. Muzzle. Now I'm going to take this strap and I'm going to bring it right behind her head. And I'm just going to hold it to the buckle. I'm not even going to work on snapping it yet. I'm just going to hold it here. And the dog feels it right around their head. At this point, you could take like an actual individual treat and feed them through as well. Let's do that this time. I've got some of Wicked's special treats here. I'm going to reload this one more time. Oh, Wicked, this is all over my hand. Just found a chunk on the ground. Hey, ready? Sit. Good girl. Muzzle. I'm going to bring this strap around. And I'm going to hold it here with the buckle, but I'm not actually buckling it. And I might do that for like the count of 10 while they're licking. I could also let go and take that individual treat, muzzle, and feed it through the front of the muzzle. We'll do that one more time. As long as the dog's comfortable, you know, you could do this for maybe three to five repetitions. Wicket. Sit. Muzzle. I'm going to hold that buckle and that strap together. Maybe for the count of ten while the dog is licking. You got some more in there, girlfriend. You could also take that extra treat. Feed it right through the front. Okay, so... That was really messy, but this is how I like to start to introduce the straps in training a dog to wear a muzzle. Thanks for watching.